Hi, I'm Russell King Homer. I was born on July 15, 1815 in Onondaga County, New York. I was the fifth child born to Benjamin Cobb and Anna Warner Homer. When I was about 15 years of age, me and some of my friends were riding on horseback in the woods. We saw a very handsome man on a magnificent black horse. He asked us directions to a place nearby. I answered and gave him directions. He then asked my name and I answered that my name was Russell Homer. He said my name is Joseph Smith and you will join the church that has just been organized and go with the saints to the Rocky Mountains and stand up and bear your testimony to the truthfulness of the everlasting gospel. I had no idea what he was talking about but it made a deep impression upon me. One of our neighbors in Onondaga County was the Williamson family. They had a daughter named Eliza who was born the same year as I was. When our family moved to Crawford County, Pennsylvania, the Williamson family moved with us. Eliza and I were married on December 20, 1836. Our first home was a log cabin built in the woods. Our first two children were born here. Our first, Elizabeth, lived only a few days and then came Edmund. One day a stranger came along and asked for a night's lodging. The man took a book out of his wagon and said that it was from my friend Martin Harris. After reading the Book of Mormon, I was convinced that it was the true history of the American Indians and contained the fullness of the everlasting gospel. I immediately wanted to move to the headquarters of the church in Kirtland, Ohio and convinced my wife, her sister and her husband who was Dr. Libius Kuhn to move with us. In the spring of 1840, we moved to Logan County, Illinois where Nancy and Anna were born. In 1844, Eliza suffered a severe sick spell and was administered to by Mormon elders after which she rapidly regained her health. Eliza and I were then baptized into the church. Our family joined the saints in their exodus from Nauvoo. We were asked to stop in Garden Grove and plant cops for those who would come later. When we left there, we moved to a settlement on the Missouri River among the Potawatomi Indians. I left my family and went to Missouri to work, husking corn to get supplies for my family and others whose fathers and husbands had gone with the Mormon battalion. In 1847, we moved further west to a settlement known as Bethlehem. It was located on the east side of the Missouri River opposite Plattsmouth, Nebraska. When we preparing to leave for the west, Heber C. Kimball asked me to stay here and look after the church cattle. I then managed the church cattle and supervised the outfitting of all emigrants that left during the next two years. Two of our daughters were born here, Lovisa Matilda in 1848 and Julia Caroline in 1850. I established a ferry to cross the Missouri River that could carry passengers and freight. It consisted of flatboats propelled by oars. Later. Joseph L. Sharp received an official license from Mills County to re-establish a ferry. Because of the ferry system, Bethlehem held a place of relative importance among the towns of the Middle Missouri Valley. Sometime after 1868, the Missouri River flooded and washed away the settlement. It was re-established and platted in a new location further from the river and renamed Sharpsburg. When a railroad came to the town it was renamed Junction City and by 1879 was changed to East Plattsmouth. Due to personal circumstances, I did not move west until 1858. I was appointed the captain of that company and we left for Utah on July 3, 1858. We lived in Salt Lake City for a couple of years and I made one more trip to Iowa to bring another company across the plains in 1859. I continued pioneering to the north and eventually ended up in Clarkston, Cache County, Utah. In about 1884, I was driving along in my buggy and unexpectedly drove into a deep ditch and was thrown out onto my head. I suffered a concussion and fractured both shoulders. I never fully recovered from that and I passed away on February 12, 1890. Eliza and I had 11 children. 
She passed away on June 11, 1912. This My Sojourn in the Wilderness story in a brief look at the settlement of Bethlehem, Mills County, Iowa.